North Dakota Security License. There are a number of conditions that can determine whether the person is eligible for a North Dakota security license. Read this article to know what they are. General Requirements The permit is attainable for only those who are 18 years and older have a high school diploma, have no mental condition, are not convicted for any type of crime good moral character, apprentice officers. Apprentices have to meet all of the general demands. In addition, they must complete 12-hour compulsory training. This practice should be mentored by a qualified specialist. For those who wish to apply for this level, the first step is to find a position in a relevant company. This way you will have a chance to acquire the required amount of experience. Security officer The status is acquired if the person obtains 1,000 and more hours of work experience. In addition, there is a 32-hour classroom course. There is a standard payment of $67 for this. Commissioned officer 3,000 hours of training earn you a status of a commissioned officer. Additionally, there is an 80-hour essential classroom course. Armed guards This is another higher level in the field. For this level, there is a special exam and a shooting test. Only board-certified specialists are allowed to instruct the special training. In order to maintain proficiency, guards have to refresh their license annually. Together with all the other necessary fees, like fingerprinting, there is an extra cost of $30. Safety officers, the licensees must first of all be 21 years old. To reach this point and organize an independent practice, the professional should complete the level of commissioned officer and have over 4,000 hours of experience. State, this position is quite respectful and it holds a lot of responsibility. This is the reason why the licensees face a number of hindrances before they acquire it. After the licensee completes the application, as a next step he passes an examination. Moreover, the candidates must have basic knowledge of laws and regulations. The fixed fee here is $130. All of the registrants have to make the following compulsory payments, general registration, $25 background check, $42 application process. The process can be completed by visiting the official website of the private investigation and security board. For most positions, you can start the registration before you have fully completed the necessary practice and courses. The same situation can be seen in Arizona, too. Together with all the other documentation, during the registration, you may need the fingerprinting card. You have also the option of receiving the necessary forms and documents by mailing them to the board. This service will cost you $20. Together with the completed form, you should attach the following. Fingerprinting card transcripts, two passport size headshots, criminal check re records, license renewal. The renewal is due annually. The expiry date is September 30th. The renewal fee for all of the types is $25. In case you delay refreshing your permit, for every delayed month, there is a late fee of $10. Zara and Zara N.